Aloha, my friends, far and wide, and welcome to yet another episode of Maui Craft Kitchen brought to you by me, Don Marceau. Now, in the last episode, which in case you missed, I'll leave a link for now, and also in case you missed it, be sure to take a second now and hit that subscribe button. I'll wait. All right, now that everybody is up to date on all the latest content at all times, last episode, not only did we learn how to cold smoke, yeah, cold smoke, but we also learned how to make the most luxurious pork carnitas. So it only makes sense that in this episode, I share with you one of my favorite recipes. The best, yeah, the best, I said it corn tortillas. Now, what makes the best corn tortilla? Well, in order to understand that, we're gonna have to take a little trip. Okay, we didn't actually go anywhere. We're still in my kitchen. It's a metaphorical trip. This is a low budget production, what did you expect? But picture this, your family grows their own corn. And late at night, just before bed, you separate the kernel from the cob. You then soak it in a mixture of water and lime. And what this does is loosen the skin a little bit and give a little more elasticity to the dough. Then early the next morning, you rinse the kernels, separating all of the skins, making sure that none are left behind. You then grind this into a masa, which is just Spanish for dough. You then take this masa and make beautiful tortillas, or you dry it and you make what most of us are going to have available to them in their kitchens and what I'm going to be using today in this video. Masa Harina. Now, I'm not sponsored or endorsed yet by anybody, Bob, but I find that Bob's Red Mill Golden Corn Flour Masa Harina is the best for making corn tortillas at home. So, Without further ado, let's work that Maui magic and get right down to it. Let's get cooking. Now the first thing we're gonna do is add 240 grams of boiling hot water to the bowl of our stand mixer. Now if you don't have a stand mixer, that's fine. Just simply use a bowl and a wooden spoon. I have a stand mixer, I'm going to use it. So it's very important that this water is boiling hot. Why? because it's going to help hydrate the masa much better. So 240 grams of boiling hot water. Then we're going to add 120 grams of Bob's Masa Harina. Three grams of salt. Then we're going to mix this on low to medium speed using the paddle attachment until well incorporated, roughly 30 seconds to one minute. Now that we have our masa, go ahead and portion it into roughly eight 40 gram balls, rolling each one in between the palms of your hands applying just a little bit of water when things get a little too sticky. Be sure to keep it covered as you work. We do not want this moisture to evaporate. And now time to break out the tortilla press. You're going to line the top and the bottom with separate pieces of plastic like I've already done here. Get yourself a little bit of water on hand. You're then going to take your masa ball, dip in just a little bit of water. You just wanna make sure that the exterior of these balls has not formed a crust. Nice and supple. You're then going to just flatten it just a little bit. 
Place it just off center, closer to the hinge. Close the top and apply just over the weight of your hand pressure. Not too much at all. Just squeezing gently. When you think you're done, make sure both pieces of plastic stay down. Lift. And that looks perfect to me. Okay, next we're gloved up. Why are we gloved up? Because it gets rid of our fingerprints. Fingerprints cause friction and we don't want that friction right now. Next, get yourself a cast iron skillet, invert it and put it directly over your heat source. What does this mean? Simply flip your cast iron skillet over and put it over the burner. You want the surface area of this to be roughly 500 degrees Fahrenheit. You could also use an electric griddle or anything else by any means. This is just the way that I prefer. A Little bit of water on your hand. We're going to lay the tortilla directly across these fingers and then drape it just like this so that it falls off of these fingers. Peel the plastic off the top. Set yourself up for next time. Can't hurt to apply some more water. Drape the tortilla. Peel that piece of plastic away carefully. Gently drape it. We're going to cook this about 30 seconds per side until they puff up. Give them a little gentle push, and this is going to coerce the two layers to separate with a layer of steam in the middle, kind of like pita bread. Once they've puffed up nicely, pull them off the heat. A little bit of salt and cover them with a light tea towel so that they stay nice and moist. Go ahead and finish the rest of your tortillas in the same manner. And there you have it, my recipe for the best corn tortillas. Now take last episode's pork carnitas and put it on this episode's corn tortillas and oh my goodness. As always, I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Many mahalas and much aloha.